Rick Roslin here, and it stopped raining. And it's a good thing because water can dissolve things. And that's what our lesson's about today. A little bit of science, a little bit of art, and a lot of fun. Here's a couple of experiments you can do to help understand the world around us. So I have some M&Ms here and some water. And water can dissolve things. And things that, a liquid that dissolves something is called a solvent. And the ability for things to dissolve is solubility. Big words. But let's take a look at this. These M&Ms have pigment. And if I put the water in here, it should cause the M&Ms to start to dissolve. That's our first experiment. Let's check it out. Okay, you can see I got some nice M&Ms all in the circle here. And I'm gonna pour the water here. This may not, this table may not be even, so let me push that up. Try to get the water just in the middle. Gently pour it in, just up to the M&Ms. And I already see some things happening. You can see how the color pigments are being dissolved and moving towards the middle. It's actually quite beautiful. If you look close, you see that the pigment is dissolving away. Water has an ability to break down the molecules and move them away. And you get these beautiful patterns of all the pigments coming together, all being mixed because they are dissolving in the water. For the next experiment on art and color, you need a coffee filter that you can cut into strips, a small cup, and some non-permanent markers. And try some different ones uh, because each one of these are black but have you ever thought what pigments make up black? If only we could separate those, and we're gonna separate those in this next experiment. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I have a strip of my coffee filter. I'm gonna put a, a black dot right here. I make it like some kind of a cool bug. And I'm using non-permanent marker. I'm gonna set this inside of my cup, close to the bottom, over the side. And now I'm going to pour some water in there to see if we can get that to do something very interesting. Here comes the water. Now the water should soak right up that dry coffee filter. And if you take a look closely, you can see it's starting to do that. As, as you see the water is starting to move up the dry coffee filter, it's moving through something called capillary action. Like small little tubes of capillaries that are in plants or that are uh, in your, your blood vessels. But the water is moving up from a wet to the dry and water loves to pull things with it. So one molecule will pull the next water molecule. So it's actually pulling it right up, dissolving it, and moving right up the top of that cup. Waiting for that, let me show you one that I did earlier with the words indie style. Check this out. As you can see, I wrote indie style, did the same thing, and the water came up. And as it went up, it actually started taking the molecules with them. Here's what the word indie style looked like after the water dissolved the pigments and the whole word moved up the side of the cup because of capillary action. Here's an experiment you can do to learn more about capillary action. This is a piece of celery that I cut off and put into some clean, clear water. And then I added one with blue food coloring and one with red food coloring. And I waited a couple hours and this is the result. You can see how the red dye has gone up into the stalk and into the leaves by capillary action. When you separate the pigments of color and you make a recording of it, it's called chromatography. Chromatography, for example, here is a dot that I made 
and you can see it's a record of the color, which is kind of cool. So the last thing I want you to try uh, for some fun color is it takes a couple uh, cups of food coloring. I like the R, G for green and B for blue, R, G, B. And then two empty cups right here like this and this. And you set these up like this. And I've got some food coloring in here. So we have empty cups in between. And then I'm gonna take some paper towels and so this is kind of a, the last thing you can do. Take your paper towel, roll it up, squeeze it, and put it in the red and into the empty. And you'll notice it starts to soak right up. Once it gets over the top of the cup, gravity helps it pull it down. Have some science fun with how things dissolve. Whether it's your M&M project, or you can do your chromatography with coffee filters, or celery and food coloring, or watching capillary action, one cup empty into the next. Have some fun, it's science.